When we are carving, it's important that we drop the urge to initiate each turn by manually turning, pointing, pivoting our feet and skis in the direction we want to turn. Instead, we should lean in the direction we want to turn and wait, pray, for our skis to slowly start turning. Rule number one, it's not you turning the skis, it's the skis turning you. So, why should we trust our skis to start turning? The secret lies in the shape of the skis. They have a built-in turn radius. They are wide at the tip and the tail and narrow at the waist. So whenever they are gliding forwards and tipped on edge, they will turn all by themselves. It's almost like magic the first time it happens. Drill number one, the cross-country double pole push drill. Take a shoulder-wide stance and push yourself forwards across a mildly slanted slope, much like in cross-country skiing. Do this in both directions, back and forth, for as many times needed. The success of your carving will be written in the tracks you leave behind in the snow. You don't need to use any forced or exaggerated tipping and edging movements at this stage because your skis are automatically tipped on edge when you are gliding forwards diagonally across a slanted slope. Just keep your weight centered in the fore-aft plane and lean slightly sideways out over your outside ski. Your body should form a mild C-shape with more weight on your downhill ski. In ski racing, we call this position the banana. Drill number two, fish hooks. Instead of pushing yourself forwards across the slope, start out more in the fall line. As you do this drill back and forth across the hill, Gradually point your skis further and further down in the fall line at the start. Be aware of other people on the same slope as they will not expect you to be turning uphill into oncoming traffic. Drill number three, arc to arc, laying down railroad tracks. When you are comfortable with arcing back and forth across the hill, it's time to start linking your fish hooks into properly carved turns. We call these turns arc to arc as you go from one arc to another. Start out in the fall line and tip your skis on edge like you did in the fish hook drill. But as you come out of your first arc, instead of continuing across the slope until you stop, roll your skis from their uphill edges to their downhill edges. Be sure to roll your skis onto their new edges before you slow down too much as you need to keep your speed up. Repeat these movements in a relaxed and controlled manner, turning back and forth across the slope. Congratulations, you are now carving arc to arc. No skidding, pivoting or drifting. If you look back at your tracks, they should resemble railroad tracks snaking down the hill. Remember, stay on easy terrain and practice these turns as much and as often as you can. That's what we do every chance we get. Hey.